Hey guys, Rob here. Today, I want to show you four knots that I always use when setting up my tarp shelter. Alright, so in today's video, I want to show you four knots that I always use. The first knot is going to be for my ridge line, which is usually either a bowline knot. The next one is going to be a trucker's hitch, and then I'm going to show you also how to do taut line hitch and also how to tie a Prusik knot. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a ridge line, and this is just some regular paracord, uh, 35 feet of it, I think is the sweet spot for as far as length goes for paracord for a ridge line. So this is 35 feet. I'm going to unravel this, and then I'm going to show you guys the bowline knot. All right, so. The first one I'm going to show you guys is the bowline. line, all right? So you're going to take your tag in here, and I've got probably about eight inches of line. Make a loop in the line, an overhand loop like that. Pinch it right there. That's also known as a bite. Take your tag end, and you're going to feed your tag end through the loop from the bottom. wrap the tag end around the main line and then back over and into that first bite that we made once you have that bite it should look like this if you pull the main line here it'll tighten it up like that and now you have your bowline knot so this is a very easy knot to untie all you got to do is just pull this out right here and the whole thing separates all right so now that you have your bowline knot tied all you got to do is look around on the ground for a twig or something, a stick, something that's and that's strong that's going to be able to hold this. All right, so now you're going to take your bowl in. You're going to find your tree that you're going to tie this to. You're going to wrap your line around the tree, and then you're going to pinch the main line and run it through that bowl in. You take your twig that you found, and you tighten it up. And now that's on there. So now we're going to tie the trucker's hitch on the other side. All right, so we have our main line connected to a tree already with that bowline knot, and we're gonna take the rest of the line and we're gonna wrap it around another tree here. Speed it around, okay. Now we got that wrapped around the tree. And once we have that going around the tree, we're gonna take our main line and we're gonna grab it like this. You see how I'm turning my hand backwards? Grab it like that, it should feel kind of awkward. Turn it like this. Now you have your hands through this little hole. And then grab the main line on this side and pull towards the tree you're, you're tying your new uh, trucker's hitch to. So you see now we have a loop here. And that won't come undone unless you pull it, which is what's cool about it. So let's go ahead and tie that again. See, we got that pulled. Now we take the tag end of our main line that's going around the tree, and we're gonna feed it through that loop that we just created, that hitch. And when we do that, and we pull backwards on the tag end, it's gonna tighten this ridge line up really, really tight. Show you guys up close. When we pull on this, it creates a lot of tension on this here ridge line. And then to tie it off, we just need another little toggle. You pinch it right here. That line's not gonna go anywhere. Make sure we have our, our toggle ready. You pinch these two together. And then you're gonna wrap this around and pull it back in on itself and just pull it tight like that pick up the slack and now we're going to take that toggle and we're going to put that toggle into this here this loop so now we have that there we just pull this slack and now that's going to lock this trucker's hitch in place and also allow for a a quick release if we needed to all we got to do is pull this toggle out and pull the rope and all this will come disconnected okay so for the next knot I have a pre-cut piece of paracord this is about I'm gonna say 10 12 inches just fold it in half and then just do an overhand knot that's it nothing complicated 
You could probably get away with using a little bit more cordage than this, but this is what I have pre-cut. And now I'm gonna tie the Prusik knot onto the ridge line. So to do that, you have your loop in your power cord right here. You just fold it over the, the ridge line and you're gonna wrap it two to three times. Okay, so I wrapped this Prusik around three wraps and it's a friction knot. So when you pull on it, it's not gonna slip because it bites into the ridge line. So I'm pulling on it really hard and in either direction, it won't slip. You guys can see that there, it's not slipping. And then if you need to move it to adjust it, you can just slide it. You just push it along and it'll move. So now you get your another toggle out. You're gonna need another toggle. So after you have your Prusik knot on the ridge line, you run your Prusik loop through the ridge line and into your tarp grommet. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and then you'll see how we can tension up this, this tarp. Okay, so we have the tarp up on the ridge line. We have the two back corners pegged out straight into the ground. And this is where your taut line hitch will come into play. If you wanted like an A-frame, but you wanted it raised higher on one side to allow maybe airflow, or maybe you want to be able to see, um, that's why I like to use the taut line hitch. And I'm gonna show you guys how that's done. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need two more toggles. And I have six foot of paracord here. And I'm gonna run a bowline through. And then I'm gonna run that piece of toggle through that bowline. And then we're gonna tie the taut line. Once you have your stake in the ground, you're gonna wrap your rope around the stake. And then you're gonna come back up the rope Like this here. So now we have a loop here. Pinch it off. Take your tag in, and you're gonna wrap it inside on the main line twice. One, two, you can do three if you want. I'm gonna actually do three. And then you pinch it there, take this, run it over those three loops on the main line and tighten it up. Okay. Now that that's nice and tight, what that allows you to do is to run it up the rope and it'll hold. It's another friction knot. So you see, it's holding nice and tight and then we can loosen it. And then we can tighten it back down again. So I'm gonna do the other side and show you guys what that looks like. All right, so we have our taut line hitch here. And as you guys can see, how easy it is to adjust up and down. So look, we just loosen all the tension on there. And then now, if we just hold the main line and pull, pull the knot up, it tensions and it holds. So now we're back in nice and taut again. Do that on both sides here. And now we have our A-frame set up and ready to go in a rainstorm will be totally protected from the elements we have an opening here so we can have draft and you can put out those taut lines even farther out and that'll open up even more of a gap depending on how you want to set up your shelter but those are the four knots that I use whenever I'm setting up my my tarp or a ridge line to hang clothes man I'm already starting to sweat it's time to get out of here Guys, if you found the video helpful, do me a favor and uh, hit the like button and share it with somebody that maybe needs to uh, brush up on a few knots and uh, have an idea how to set up a quick shelter. Again, guys, thanks for watching.